I'm gonna give you the prompting method that we use in Harbor in this video. Now we're gonna be using this with O1 Preview and this is obviously a watered down simpler version of the prompt, but the logic is exactly the same. I'm gonna give you an exact AI SEO workflow that could replace Harbor if you really wanted it to. Now, of course, it takes a little bit more effort than it would with Harbor, where you just need to put your sitemap. Harbor, by the way, is my SaaS. All you have to do is put your sitemap here and a keyword here and choose a content type and then press generate and it will do everything that I'm showing you in this video with even more quality and even more images, etc., etc. But just for the sake of the channel, I'm gonna make a completely free video with using the same methodology. So we've got the prompt here. You can see the prompt, it's just basically take the information on the keyword from below and generate a fully SEO optimized article. Ensure to use all of the relevant features of Markdown in order to create a truly unique and powerful ranking article. This will include headings, internal links, image embeds, lists, unordered and ordered, bold, also, if you want to make a more complicated data visualization, such as a graph or something that would require style tags, you can use HTML in order to create just that part of the article. You must include 12 headings in the entire article with 100 to 200 words for each heading. Include frequently asked questions at the very bottom of the article, which you can just think about logically. What questions might someone ask about the keyword? Write so that a 12 year old would, would be able to understand what you're writing. Take the persona of an expert in the niche and on this topic specifically, ensuring to add parts of the article that only an expert would know, uh, would be able to add to such an article, including personal anecdotes and expert pieces of advice. Don't use any marketing language such as step into, elev uh, this should be elevate, and other clever language pieces that AI often adds, and instead stick purely to simple language, but in a way that explains the topic in an incredibly simple and efficient way. At the very top of the article, include either a key takeaways table or key takeaways list. This is to ensure that the topic... <coughs> this is to ensure that the topic is easily summarized and the questions that the user might have are instantly answered. Ensuring a positive experience for anyone that might click on the article and therefore will help to increase the ranking of the article. Ensure to include image embeds inside the XML tag you will find some image links that should be included throughout the article. One every paragraph where possible. Okay, so let's just, uh, we could just use Harbor here to find a keyword or we can just do a random keyword. And what you're going to want to do to start off with is to go to perplexity. Now, I personally think this is an important part of the process. You don't have to use perplexity, but ideally you'd want to give a bit of specific information about the topic. So I'm just gonna say, give me some information about Kiton suits including data what this is now going to do is it's going to take my request turn it into different questions ask those questions and then find the information from those questions and then summarize it okay so each suit undergoes over 1800 production steps perfect 25 hours of labor perfect kitten employs 25 tailors and 150 finishers perfect blah 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 uh, this is how well the business is performing Chilo, Chilo Paoni Spa is the actual name of the company. If people don't know, it's the legal name. Kits on suits start around 6,000. This is their slogan, etc., etc. So I'm going to press copy here. And then what I want you to do, because probably you're going to find this Google Doc in the description of this video if it's not just in the, um, in the description written as it is. Oh my God, dude, please. So what I want you to do is file, make a copy. What is going on? Make a copy, there we go. And then all you have to do is just input the information that you get from perplexity within the information XML tags like that, okay? The keyword here is just gonna be best get on suits for work, for, uh, yeah, for work in 2025. And then internal links. So for internal links, we're gonna use something called sitemap to clipboard. So sitemap to clipboard and then just install this Chrome extension right here. Very, very good Chrome extension. So once you've got that Chrome extension, you wanna to go to the sitemap of the website that you're writing for. This should work with Shopify, WordPress, et cetera. It doesn't really matter. Open up the collections tab here and then press sitemap to clipboard and press start. And then you just wanna to go to internal links and then, paste, and then paste those internal links. 
And then for image embeds, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you a really cool method here. So we'll go to kit on suits, right? Because then everything on here is relevant to the article, right? So what you can do is you can click at the point that you want to start and then shift click at the point you want to finish. Control C to copy and then go paste to markdown like that. And then click on the first one and then Control V to paste. Now just check that you can see actual image links. You can see these are image links here, so perfect. So we can do Control A, Control C here. And then what we want to do is we want to go back to the prompt here and paste the embed, uh, the markdown like that. Control A, Control C to copy everything. And then we're just going to put this into GPT-01 uh, preview. And we'll put it into the, um, the playground as well. And we could probably do this with Claude as well, to be honest with you. It doesn't really matter what you use. This is a really, really good prompting methodology. So it's probably going to work with all of them. Let's see uh, kind of what 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 we come out with here. So best cuts, kits on suits for work in 2025, a comprehensive guide. Kits on suits are renowned for exceptional quality. Each kit and suit undergoes 1,800 production steps. Kits and uses rare ultra luxurious fabrics, including those from their own Carlo Barbera woolen mill. Pricing typically starts at around 6,000. Kitson's business performance has shown strong growth with a 25% increase in 2022. The, kit, uh, the brand continues to expand, including new collections like Cap NT for athleisure. Okay, good. Uh, this has actually used a placeholder image, so this has not worked as intended. So Claude is actually, has actually failed that. Obviously, O1 Preview smashes it as usual. So best kits on suits for work in 2025. 20, I thought that said 2035. Kits on suits are handcrafted. Each suit takes 25 hours, premium materials, styles in 2025, investing in a kit on suit. Introduction to kit on suits, and then we have one picture, we have an internal link, we have a good uh, like amount of information there. Another picture, same again, and then this time we have a uh, link to Italian wool suits, another picture. New arrivals for 2025, find your perfect fit. Okay, beautiful, amazing, really, really good. I'm going to press copy here and we're going to see how many words this is. Remember that this is just from prompting, okay? So it looks like this is actually pretty long. So we'll just see how long this actually is. Yeah, it's going to be about 1,000 words, I would guess. 776 words. That's pretty good just for normal prompting with nothing special here. And this would most likely rank on Google. We have some really, we have a really nice FAQ section at the very bottom. Um, let's just check what the playground came out with. See if it's similar or the same, or yeah, it's pretty much the same, isn't it? So again, we'll just check how long this is. This is slightly longer, it looks like, 960 words. So definitely I would recommend using the playground over using ChatGPT in the front end, purely because it just gives that little bit more uh, content. That's actually gonna be it, guys. The, everything is gonna be in the description. This is a really, really good prompting method that's very similar to how Harbor works. But obviously, Harbor does a little bit more, um, and it's a little bit more automated as well. But if you're looking for a good, strong prompting system that where you can create good ranking SEO content, this is probably for you. Now, one more thing before we finish, actually, is I do want to do a quick test here uh, on GPT-0. The reason being is because I have actually included humanizing in the prompt, and I want to see if it actually works. Okay, so this is it hasn't worked this time. It might work next time. It's very, very hard to say, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, it's quite hard to do without a little bit more complicated prompting. To be honest with you, I thought that would pass, though, so I'm a little bit disappointed here. Let's just double check that it wouldn't pass. It hasn't passed. Wait. Uh, so we'll scan this again. Yeah, 99% probability AI generate. Okay, so it didn't pass this time, but some of them should pass just because of the way the prompting works. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to see how AI is changing keyword research.